Hi, welcome to another one of Bob's Histories and Mysteries. We're just about to celebrate the first circumnavigation of the globe by the Magellan Expedition in 1521. Now, of course, Magellan himself didn't make it all the way round. He ran into a little local difficulty uh, picking a fight with a local Datu. So there's two things I want to look at. One is the Visayan slave who had been bought with Magellan and the first person known to speak Spanish in the Philippines. Well, a few miles down uh, east of us here is the island of Homahon, which was Magellan's first stop in the Philippines. And it was there that they met their first Filipinos. I was interested to see in this article by National Geographic that Enrique, Magellan's slave, spoke the indigenous language. This has left many people thinking Enrique must have spent time in the Visayas or have come from the Visayas. But he didn't speak the indigenous language. When the fishermen approached Magellan's vessel, they communicated with signs and signals, and that's very easy to do when you just sail across the Pacific, you're thirsty, you're short of water, you just go, you're hungry. You go, that's easy. And Pigafetta does not mention Enrique speaking the local language. What he does say is that the kings here speak more languages than others. And indeed, the fishermen went away and they came back with a guy who could speak with Enrique. So what language did they use? Well, that language would have been Malay. Malay was a common trading language throughout Southeast Asia. And when you're going to trade, you'll always find some language to trade in. So what about Enrique? What do we know about him? Well, we know that roughly 10 years before Magellan came to the Philippines, he was in Malacca, helping the Portuguese overtake the place. And it was there that he bought Enrique. And the papers say that Enrique was a Sumatran. He took Enrique all the way back to Spain with him and then brought him all the way round to the Philippines. And it was there that Enrique was able to talk to the local elite like Hamabon, who fooled Magellan into uh, attacking Lapu-Lapu, and maybe Lapu-Lapu himself if they ever met, and uh, spoke Malay to them. So, no, Enrique was not a Visayan. He came from Sumatra. He communicated in Malay. And no, the local fishermen couldn't understand a word he was saying. But the kings, the Datus, the Rajas, and maybe some of their uh, members of their court could understand him. So there goes Enrique the Visayan. But more interesting in a way is that when the Magellan expedition was on the return, led by Sebastian Elcano, who was actually the man who circumnavigated the world, off the coast of Borneo, they seized a Filipino vessel led by a Raja, the Raja that we know later as Raja Matanda. And amongst the Raja's slaves, which he traded or stolen from somewhere else, and he may have been off on a slave raiding expedition, was a Spanish-speaking Moor 
in other words a Spanish speaking Muslim who spoke something of our language says Pigafetta. That man's name was Punza Cannon. So what do we know now? Spanish was actually spoken in the Philippines at least in Manila and in Tondo years before Magellan ever arrived. And that shouldn't be so much of a surprise as I will say uh, in another podcast later. So that's one bit of history sorted and a mystery sorted. Don't forget to subscribe, like and maybe leave a comment.